Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we're going to do a fire bug run. I'm sure you can guess how that's going to go. Not super great. Uh, we are going to play suicidal. You know what, let, let's do suicidal, but on a bit of an easier map. So we're going to go with... We just did Edge of Reality, like, not too long ago. Let's do Lil Big Clock Kitchen. This is one of my favorite maps from Killing Floor 1. It was uh, on a server that I played on a lot, and I really, really enjoyed it. So, I haven't played it in a while. Uh, let's go for fuel tank capacity at the start, because we do want to make sure that we're getting through the waves with the, uh, the cock and burn. And... Hundred and fifty percent longer versus three times the damage and reducing mm, I'll go for this. I don't I don't know which is better. I think the ground fire is probably better, but like slowing them down. I don't know if you guys played this one as much as I did, but I played this map so many times. I love it. There was another one where you played on like in a bedroom. And there was this like Roomba that you could get running by uh, like shooting some babies or something like that. I couldn't find that map on Killing Floor 2 again. I might look again because I haven't looked for a while. I should still, I don't know if I would still have it on KF1. I have to take a look. That was, that was one of my favorite maps. It was like you had like this bed where you had low gravity and I'd always take the um boomstick double barrel and uh like jump around on that because that was a ton of fun but that's not this map so it doesn't really mean anything it's pretty low res though that's the thing with a lot of uh, custom maps is Usually the quality in them is not as good as uh, the quality in official maps. They just don't put as much time into it. I mean, they're not getting paid, you, be dead. you know, big bucks to do it, so I can't blame them. Okay, that's that's new in KF2. I don't think they had that in the KF1 version. Yeah, these these are new. Yeah, that, that's 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 unusual to me. Oh right, and I think you can go outside in this one too. It's like an upgrade, updated version of it. Yeah, I don't think I liked it very much. That's why I didn't play it anymore. Hello, baby. Uh, we need to kill stuff with the dragon's breath, so let's just commit <laughs> to the dragon's breath. This cat's back in the Is game. it a good idea? No. <laughs> it's a horrible idea. We have 72 bullets and 41 zeds to kill with. Okay, we got we got some ammo over here, but like it's garbage. Got some ammo here. Yeah, I don't I don't like the cockroaches. They make me uncomfortable. I don't know how you want to use this weapon. Because it does cause, like, some burn, but it's also just, like, a shotgun. So I think you want to just, like, shoot them and then let them burn. I guess. Like, I don't... I don't really know what I'm doing with it. And we gotta let the ammo last long enough to... Finish the round into the stupid daily thing. Get out of here. It does light the ground on fire, so maybe we could be using it for that. But I'm not sure if ground fire caused by it is going to count towards damage with this weapon or not. Because it might not. I could, I could see that not counting. Damage directly caused by it, like 
that, obviously, and then also, like, the fire that's on him, I think, is going to count. I'm just not sure about ground fire. Because it is, like, a different type of thing. There's specific buffs for ground fire. Not sure whose kitchen this is, but they really need to clean it. <laughs> it, it feels weird when it burns them, though. Because, like, you shoot him, and then he's like, fine, and then poof, fire, all of a sudden, you know? Kind of strange. How much damage did we get there? Oh, we're so close. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I would always take a sharpshooter right up on the table and. Hello. Let's go for the microwave gun. Why? I, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Firebug, come to mama. I have no idea how good this is or how bad it is or anything. Uh, we do have some big boys coming as well, so we're going to have to make sure we can kill them. I think the microwave gun can do that okay. Uh, we're going to have to make sure that we kill as much as we can with this because we don't get too much ammunition with the uh, with the uh, the microwave gun. You do get like 400, but it goes by really quickly when you're, you know, spraying it everywhere. And I'm not sure how much the alt fire uses either, but probably a decent amount. Seems like a bad map to be fighting the uh, Matriarch on, maybe? But also maybe not. Because we do have, like, some stuff laying about, and it's open, so you can always kind of see her. Maybe maybe it's a good map. I don't know. I don't normally destroy the... What? I just heard a Mario sound. I know you don't want to be using fire on them. But maybe the microwave is effective against him? Not super effective. Effective, I guess, but... It does cause ground fire too, which is kind of good, but... It, it does it does the job, but I I'm not feeling it too much. Microwave versus the uh, flesh kind. It did kill it, so I guess I can't complain too much. You know, because I expect a faster time to kill, but it is fire bug, so I'm not supposed to be killing those guys. Where are we going? I'm going nowhere. That flesh pound didn't know what hit it just now. Very nice work. Oh yeah, you do go outside in this one. I don't like the outside. It's got rom com uh weather. Just let me back inside, please. What is this? I don't like this. Uh, we're going to get rid of the dragon's breath for... I would like this. Let's go for an incendiary rifle and autofill. Honestly, I, I don't know what we're doing right now. Let's even grab this thing. Nope. Oh, sweet. 
It's just a trader thingy. Cool. Uh, this is probably not a good spot to be underneath the table. Stuff can spawn up there, I believe, from the chairs and whatnot. So this has fire nades. With, with dead time and the dead time perk, that seems pretty sweet. You know? Being able to... Does this burn? I don't know. It kind of looks like it burns, but that could just be sparks. I like how the robots are like, Oh my god, fire! Like, you wouldn't have built the robots to be able to handle a little bit of fire, you know? Like... Yeah, it looks like it's doing fire. To me. That looks like it's burning them. It is a cool looking gun, but. Yeah. This one doesn't seem that great. For solo firebug, like, I don't know what else I would want to use, because honestly, I just don't really like firebug that much. But, I don't know. It's not really good. I guess it's more ammo efficient than um, most firebug weapons for killing trash, maybe. This is kind of good for handling these guys, though, since you can, like, boop, push them back, you know? So you're kind of like not really in danger of getting hit. You just have to worry about having enough ammunition to kill them. And that's that's a reasonable thing to be worrying about, I guess. Thought I saw something up there. Now you can get up there. I, mean, I, I get it, you know, you're a robot, you don't need to be able to see, but like, get out of here. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, so you can't push these guys back. We didn't get a real flesh pound in that whole fight. Does that mean we're going to get the king flesh pound? Yeah, I don't know. We only got the fake boys. Give me my ammo. Bring up the and your gear. I don't like you. I don't like you. Let's stick with this, but... Uh, yeah. We'll just stick with it. Doubt it'll work very well because I don't think either of these are very good at handling uh, bosses, but you know, find out, won't we? Huh. KFP might be able to be dusted with this. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming? Right over there. Fire versus the KFP might not be the best of ideas, but we're going to do it because that's what we got. This is really not working very well. This is not working well at all. Not a good solution. Yes. 
The range is not very high. It does deal with the uh, um, the little boys that come at us pretty well, but it's not all about the little boys. Oh, that was just awful. I was kind of hoping for the matriarch so that we could get the Edars done, but that's fine. Can you parry this guy? I do not know. Yeah, we're gonna run out of ammunition and then have to finish this guy off with this thing. Why am I not getting pushed back? Why am I not crouching? Okay, you know what? I don't take credit for that one. I, I hit the crouch button. And I wasn't getting pushed back. So you know what? Not my fault. Okay. Also, we had pretty shit weapons. <laughs> That's going to be it for today, though. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.